Hello there students. In the framework of English lesson preparation for first back all science, technical and original streams, welcome to our English lesson. Today's lesson is going to be about vocabulary related to ecology. Now, as they say, a picture is worth a thousand words. Now, look at this picture. What does it refer to? Yes, air pollution. As you can see in the picture, here we have uh, some causes of this type of pollution. So in the background, you have the factories, chimneys, releasing toxic smoke, which pollutes the environment. Now, look at the second picture. What can you see? No rain. What do you call this phenomenon? Good drought. So, a period of a lack of rain is called drought. Now, let's move on to the third picture. What can you see? Yes, this is dampen. This is waste or trash from households or, muni or municipal trash. Now let's move on to the last picture. What can you see? Can you drink that water? Can you swim in that water? Of course, no. This is good. This is water pollution. So people throw trash into water, thus killing water life. Good. Now let's move on to another activity. So here we have a spidergram about ecological problems. Can you suggest some problems related to ecology? Yes. The first one, of course, is pollution. And here we have pollution with its different types. Water, land, noise, and air pollution. Good. Another problem related to this. Good. Deforestation. Yes. Now, one related again to deforestation. Acid rain. Okay. And acid rain, it is caused by air pollution. So we have toxic chemicals are emitted in the air and when the rain falls, it, they fall with the rain and they cause damage, yes. Good, next. Global warming. There is another problem related to global warming. So when the temperature goes up, what happens? Good, glaciers melt, especially in the north and south Poles. And of course, the level of water goes up and it covers land. And of course, here some cities might disappear in the future. This is another problem, yes, endangered species. So because of the problems that humans cause to environment, some di species disappear. They become extinct. This is another problem. Poaching. So some people massacre, kill animals. And the last, yes, it's ozone layer depletion. Okay, thank you. Now let's move on to another activity. Now we have... Uh, a list of words 
global warming, poaching, degradation, recycling, toxic ecology, and renewable energies. And you have their corresponding definitions. Now, I will give you some time to match the words with their definitions. Now, the first one, global warming. Good. It's a rise in world temperature. The second one, poaching. Nice. It's the fact of killing animals for money, especially their skin, ivory, etc. The third one, degradation. Good. It refers to changing from good to bad and from bad to worse. Next one, dumping. Dumping has to do with throwing away unwanted and useless things. Recycling. Yes, it's making new things out of old ones instead of throwing them away. Toxic. Yes, poisonous, toxic gases. Ecology. The ecology, it means the interaction between living things. Living things, which means people, animals, plants, insects, birds, etc. With themselves and with their environments. And the last one, renewable energy. Of course, it refers to the ways of producing power from natural resources such as the sun, the wind, and the water, etc. Good. Now, let's move on to another activity still with vocabulary. Now, here we have two columns, column A and column B. So, we are supposed to match the words in column A with those in column B to make collocations. Let's start with the first one. So ecological goes with which word in B? Good. Ecological problems. The second one, air. We say air pollution, ozone, good, ozone layer depletion, global, good, global warming, next one, acid, nice, acid rain, Waste. That's good. Waste disposal. Natural. Disasters. Or natural disasters or catastrophes. And the last one, environment. So we say environment degradation. Thank you. Now we move on to the next step, which is a gap filling exercise. Now we are going to make use of the formed collocations to fill in the following gaps. So the words to use are waste disposal, natural disasters, ecological problems, 
environment degradation and global warming. Okay, have a look at the paragraph. Are you done? Okay, here is the correction. So our mother earth is facing a lot of ecological problems. So the first one is ecological problems such as global warming, acid rain, air pollution, waste disposal, ozone layer depletion, water pollution, climate change, and many more that affect humans, plants, and animals. The excessive exploitation of our planet has led to environment degradation. As our actions have not been in favor of protecting this planet, we have seen natural disasters striking us more often in the form of droughts, floods, tsunamis, and cyclones, etc. So thank you very much for your attention.